Well, hello. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. I'm going to emphasize that longer and longer every time I do a video. I'm going to see how long I could get it out there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about today on the docket. A lot to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 6 to 12 inches of snow coming in my area over here in southern New Jersey. We've already got 2 inches dumped on us yesterday. And today's the one. Yesterday was just a teaser. Now today's going to be uh, the 6 to 12. Um, guys, I wanted to do this. Well, actually, I was trying to wait to do the video because what is in the mail still hasn't, uh, arrived yet, but I'll tease you with something. I'll show you something just to give you as a hint. Anyway, let's start out with the sheaths. What I think about the, um, the, uh, the Smoky Mountain Knife Work Sheaths. Guys, you see them in all its glory. I specifically bought these sheaths for not a sp specific knives that I want to keep in there. Now, I'll show you two of them. The third one, like I said, has not arrived yet. I have been working uh, the leather on this and treating the leather. Now the leather is just as soft and as supple and as supple as a baby's behind. You cannot go wrong for the money you're paying for these sheaths. They're actually pennies. That's how cheap they are. They're pennies. Um... When you first get them, they are, well, not so good. But when I tell you guys, if you felt this right now, you would be like, oh, my God. Now, naturally, I form-fitted. I form-fitted. Uh, I like my knives when I get leather sheaths. I like to form-fit them because there's less chance on it falling out for number one, okay, out of the sheath. And number two, I think that it, that it just looks so lovely. That could be, in my opinion, in my opinion only. But this one here is already treated, but we are waiting on its arrival should be here maybe tomorrow i don't know about tomorrow because we're supposed to get this snow and i don't think the mailman's going to make it in that little truck so i'm hoping but there's there's a sheath there's a little piece that's going to go in here or or it might not fit that i don't know anyway i'll show you the first one guys i'm if you if i haven't told you uh, quickly, I collect micro, they're called micro knives or minis. I could get out, if you would like me to, I could get out my cigar box full. I have a cigar box with a flap on it full of micros. That's how much I like micros. Um, this happens to be, and this is what I really got this for. Um, I'm trying to work around this. Obviously, I haven't gotten a camera yet. So, let's just take a look at this. Um, I buy the Spyderco, um, the bug line. And they are just fantastic. Fantastic. It's the best knife that you can possibly buy. To drop in your coin pocket or your fifth pocket. There is no other knife better than these little buggers here. Literally. <laughs> these little buggers right here. That's what they're called. Um, 
you got the bug, you got the grasshopper, and you got the ladybug. There's three of them, three different sizes. This is the medium one, I think. Um, well, I'll spill the beans. What the heck? I went ahead and ordered the uh, black grasshopper. They just now released, Spiderco just released their black Spiderco grasshopper. And ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you I saw that, I was like, oh my God, are you serious right now? Because like I said, I'm into micros and I collect the Spiderco, the specific Spiderco knives. I collect these. So it was only fitting to keep on uh, with the, with the Spiderco line. And when I saw that black, all black, uh, grasshopper, oh man, well, obviously let's go here. You know where that's going to go. That's going to, that's what I got these sheaths for. That's what I said. It was a specific purchase because I like to carry my Spiderco, uh, bug knives. Um, I like to carry them and normally it's in my pocket. I really don't like to put them on my keychain, but I just throw them in my third, my third pocket. But now that I saw these sheaths, a bell went off and they fit it just beautifully. Watch this now. Stick with me. Uh, let me see what I'm working with here. I got to put this back in here. Wait a minute now. So look, just look how beautiful. Look at the fitment. Look at the fitment you're getting. How beautiful you could get these little sheaths if you work at it and you just take a little bit of time. I'm just saying. So that's my first spider co that went in the slip. I think that my second one is going to go. I think I'm going to need another medium uh, when it comes because I think it's going to be. Now look at this. I think it's going to be the same size as this. This is, and I knew I was going to forget it, and I was, I've been wanting to write it down, and I didn't write it down. This, okay, this is my Kiwi. This is my Kiwi. I think that the grasshopper is going to be the same size as this right here. Okay? Now look at this now. Look at the choil. Um, I'm getting all four fingers nicely on this piece i mean this is almost a full-size piece right here this is called the kiwi okay um but like i said guys i collect these micro knives and i didn't have a specific place to carry this except in my coin pocket or my fifth carry pocket and i love love this is one of my favorite pieces to carry and show off. And it's it's no big deal. To me, it is. I just like the piece. Um, I just like it. So that, uh, this was for my, um, this was for my second, um, this was for my second sheath. Now, this is the medium. This is the medium. And it fits it perfectly now when my spider co um grasshopper comes i've got the large left i think that this may be too big this may be too big i mean it'll probably work i mean it'll work it'll just sit a little bit deeper that's all it'll price it like that i don't know the size of it when it comes it might be perfect that's why I got all three sizes, just to play around. But, but, as far as fitment goes, and if you guys are, I just stuck my spider codes in here. You can stick any of your traditional knives in here. I am, I'm, I'm saying, once they're broken, they are that good. They are that good for the money. They're peanuts. They are cheap as dirt. You just have to get a couple of these slips. Okay? So that's that. 
I meant to show you, this is a new piece. This is the Midnight Swirl. Have you guys ever seen, i never seen it, the uh, Rough Rider Midnight Swirl? Psh, I've never seen a Midnight Swirl, nor did I see that badging. How beautiful that badge is on there. I stumbled across this bugger uh, on Amazon. And I was like, are you kidding me? But I just, guys, I'm just saying, I just fell in love over the swirl pattern. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at the depth on it. This is a Stockman. Do you know how much this was, ladies and gentlemen? I want you to take a guess. Look how beautiful. Look how, be I want to give you the closeness of that. Ladies and gentlemen, this Stockman, okay, $12, okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was $12 on uh, Amazon, okay? Now, wait, before I let you go, don't go nowhere yet, there it is, uh, just a gorgeous little piece to the collection. It's called Midnight Swirl. You guys probably heard of it. I know that, um, I know that, uh, which McCall had heard of it. Look, check that out. I never saw it before. I really didn't. I mean, I just like the box and all. You know what I mean? But anyway, you guys, I'm telling you, it's a home run with the sheaths. Get them. Get them. As cheap as they are, you, you can't say no. You can't really say no. And I can't wait to see what my Spyderco Grasshopper looks like in it. I got the all-black Grasshopper. Go over and look at it. It's bad, guys. It's a nasty little piece. Um, but like I said, you've got to be into micro knives and all that. And, and, and that's for another video. But like I said... I have a box, okay, full, full of micros. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and get down the road. The snow is coming. Check that out. Look at that. Midnight swirl, man. Have you guys, man, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I just fell in love with it, and uh, eh, what are you going to do? So that's that's how that goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you uh, slip down the road. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. Let me know. And uh, do you guys collect these uh, Spyderco bugs, man? These Spyderco, um, of course, I love them. I mean, they're like my favorite. They're like one of my favorite... Uh, Things to collect. Especially, I cherish. I cherish this Kiwi. Absolutely cherish the Kiwi. But these are uh, micro knives. So, let me know what you guys think. And uh, look how pretty that is, huh? Anyway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'll let you uh, slip down the road. Stick with me. Drop me that comment. Maybe my Spyderco Grasshopper will be here tomorrow and we'll put it in its, we'll see what sheath it fits. I don't know. Well, I don't even know how big it's going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be this size right here, the Kiwi size. I know it's not going to be this bug size. That's going to be too small. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for bear, uh, listening to me. And... Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll give you a shot of all that snow outside, too. All right, guys. Take care. Be safe. Be safe out there. And uh, we'll see you super soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.